Let's take this cube and make a low poly car. First, select the cube and go to edit mode. Initially, we could just scale this. Then we're going to use loop cuts generously. First, I'll put two loop cuts for like the passenger area, then a loop cut for the front window, and one for the back window. And I'll put a loop cut down the middle and split it to the count of two. I'll use scale to bring this just to the edges. This is going to help me make the car a little bit more roundish. Now, I just go to face mode, select this face, and pull it up, and you're going to see, bam, we kind of got the shape outline of car just by that. Let's round out this part a little bit more with one more loop cut and then a scale tool to bow out the sides and bow out the front and the back about how you want your car to look. Pull this up maybe. So we have a shape of a car. We need the wheels. We turn on transparency, go back to object mode so I can add in a cylinder mesh. Rotate it, change the radius, and then the depth, as you can see, widen it out to the sides of the car. Now with that done, let me go view it at the side and put this cylinder in position. I can make this look more like a tire and a rim. Now go to edit mode, select the cylinder, go to edit mode on the cylinder, face select and select this top face here and do inset. Inset, it's going to pull in a, a circle around so it could be like the tires. Then I'll use the extrude tool, E, and push in a rim a little. I could even make these tires a little rounded out too instead of being so squarish. So I select one of the faces and then I say select similar normal and everything facing that direction gets selected. I could hold down the shift key, unselect that, and then do the inset tool again to get some edges there. Then I'll move those faces forward a little and that kind of bends out the wheel. All right, so I did that on one side. I don't have it on the other. Don't worry about it. Let me hide the car for a minute. Oh, let's name this car. Mode, let me um, make a loop cut down the middle here. Then selection mode and transparency to select all the way through. Let me delete these vertices. Now I have half a wheel the car back on and move these vertices over to be the width of what I want to be a wheel for my car. That's one side. Let me get this, the wheel on the other side using the mirror modifier, mirror, and I mirror on the z-axis. Now I have two wheels. Now to get the back wheels, let's just copy the front wheels. So this is my front wheels and I'm going to copy and I'm going to pick the collection and paste. Let's go to object mode so I could change my selected object. Select the copy I made here and drag those to be the back wheels on my car. Let's name that back. Boom. Now we're ready to paint the colors on the car. Oops, I picked the back, hold control, and pick the front wheels. And then I'm going to say I want to do a join with them. Object mode, object, join. So this instead will be called wheels. All right, so for the wheels, let's go now into UV editing, edit mode, face mode, select all the faces. And now we can see the mapping of the wheels right here. But we need a material, so we're going to turn this to the material renderer so we can see what the colors are. And then we're going to pick the material properties. We don't have a material yet, so we say new material. Then here on the base color of our new material for this car, we're going to say use an image texture and open up an image. I made a palette-like image and I saved it to my desktop. So first, let's turn the wheels black. I'll press A to select all, then go over here on this side and select all these mappings. And I'm going to scale them down to be about the size I could fit in one of these color cubes here. Then I'll move it all into the black. I want the rims to be a different color, so let me select the rims. So I have the rims selected, and I'll just move this, and I'll make my rims yellow. Great. Now let me go to object mode so I can select a different object, and I'll select the car, and go to edit mode on the car. Oh, it has a material. Let's have it use an image, and pick the image for it to use. It's on my desktop, palette 01. Select all the faces with control A, and let's just take the whole car and make it a certain color, so I'm just going to scale this down, then use the move tool and move my car to the light orange. I want the bottom to be a different color. So let's do transparency mode. Just look at it straight on the Y. And let me just select these bottom panels and make these a darker orange. Now let me select the windows and give them a color. Do one more thing. Let me select these panels here and make them white. And then in the back of the car, let me select these two panels and make them red. There. I've textured my car. Now I could go back into modeling mode and see it rendered. The other thing I want to do is when I bring it into Unity, I want this to be one mesh. Now's a good time for me to bring these together. So I'll select the wheels, and then second, I select the car. Oops, I got to go into object mode. And I'll say object join, 
so that they become all one object. Now I'll export that so I could use it in my Unity game later. So I'll say export, exper experimental transform on to my desktop, car001, and the car is exported, <laughs> car001, and here's my texture. I'm going to make a racetrack, and the racetrack is going to have a barrier and it's going to have the road. I have a cube. What I'm going to do is I'm going to look at it from the top. I'm going to add a Bezier curve. It's going to be a curve that I'm going to follow to outline my road and use the move tool. I could move the points. If I need another point, I just press E, E, and let's turn that around like this. And then go back to that point there, E. At some point, I want the road to connect. So I'll just say curve, toggle, cyclic. So that part's done. Go back to object mode. Now let me go to the cube and work on that. I'm going to turn the cube into the shape of a road segment. So I could tell which way the array goes. I'm just going to add the array modifier on it now. And I see it goes on the x-axis. And let me just turn this on so I could see the segment. I want to take this first segment here and I just want to shape it up. So I'll go into edit mode and I'll use loop cutting. So the first cut here, I'm going to select the yellow. And another cut, this is going to be four. Then another loop cut, the third loop cut. This is going to be the white line down the middle. Now I'm going to put some um, light posts, one here, and then make another loop cut, like right there. So select face mode. Let me select these walls here. I have to use the shift key. All right, so I got the um, barrier wall selected. Now I press E and extrude up a wall. And now I'm going to select these for the light post. Press E and extrude up light posts. And another extrude, because this will be where I'm going to put the light. And the same thing on this side, E, I pull out a light road. Now I'm going to go back to object mode and I'll make a copy of this. Copy in the collection I will paste. And this one is going to be the barrier. The barrier selected, I'll delete the road part. So let me look at it straight on and turn on transparency. So I select all the way through, go to selection mode. I'm just going to select these faces right here. So I'll say delete these faces. Bam. See, so now this one's the barrier. Now let me hide the barrier and show the road. And for the road one, I will, let me go to object mode, make sure I select the road, then go to edit mode on the road and select the part that's the top, that's the barrier, and delete that part there. And now for the road, it's just the bottom. And for the barrier, it's the top. Okay, so I got these two separate objects, but they're placed perfectly for me. Now I want them to follow the path. Now I'm going to add a curve modifier and I'll select the Bezier curve so it could follow. And I'll see the curve work if I have it in object mode. So there it is, two segments. Then I'll do the same thing with the barrier. And I'll add a curve modifier and tell it to follow the Bezier curve. Bam. Let's go back to the road and see how many segments we have to do to get all the way around. Let's just drag this out. As if I make it 32, I have a gap. 33, there's just one overlap. I'll go to barrier and let's have the barrier go follow around the curve too. 33, enter and now we have the track. Now we want to color the track, so we're going to go and go to UV editing, and I'm going to go to the material thing, and over here I'm going to make sure I'm rendering with the material colors. Okay, let's change the base color from being a color to use an image, and then I'll say what image to use. So now, so I'm in edit mode face, I could select faces to make a certain color, so let me just go in transparency mode. I want to select all these up here, and all these up here. Let's move them to the color that I want. So I basically want this to be color gray for that face. And over here for this face, same thing, just move it down to the gray. And then I have these guys here. I could see gray and there's something there, gray. Now the outside here, I want to select those faces too, and I'll move them into the gray. And sometimes they may be too big to totally fit. It's okay, I'll just scale down the UV mapping coordinate. And let me select the top part here and those two move them to gray. And the side, let's work it. Select the faces, move them to gray. So let me select this side here, these faces. Let me do UV, smart UV project. Select these edges and just move them down. And then select everything and then try to scale it and put it over the part of the image that has what I want. It may not be perfect, but if I kept working on it, it could be perfect. And I do the same thing with this side here. One, two, three, um, select and do the UV, UV smart map. Pick that point down, shrink it down on this scale, put it in there. These edges on the side here, I don't need them. So let me select those faces and then I could just do a delete. And there's some on the other side too over here. Just put transparency mode on so I could select those faces, right click and delete those faces. Go to object mode, 
So I could change my selected object. And in the road here, we could see it has a base color for the mapping. We're going to change it to using an image. Then we open up the image for it to use, which is on my desktop. It's palette 01. So you see this little effect over here with the um, texturing kind of like flickering like that? That's because there's two things overlapping with each other. Hold down the shift and the middle mouse to pan. Now let's texture this. So I'll say A to select all the faces. Let me just scale this down. Then let me move it over the asphalt. And you can see that it's mapping, but it's like the texturing is horrible. Let me select the faces that I want to be asphalt. And this one in the middle. OK. Let me say UV. OK. And let me use the scale tool. Move it over to the asphalt thing. And there you go. Now let me select these lines here. These are going to be my white lines. So let me just move that over to white. And then on the side here, these are going to be my yellow lines. So I'll move those over to yellow. And my road's textured. I go to object mode, and the road and the track are together. And if I just go to modeling up here and turn it to the renderer with the material, we can see we made our road. The end. Now I just had to export it so I could use it in Unity as an FBX. Experiments will transform. Let's pick the location, my desktop, and let's name it track 01. And here's the palette, here's the track. I'm ready to go with the Unity.